Okay guys, I got my outer walls done. The two long sides. I don't have the ends built yet, but I got the two long sides built. Um, I built these walls out of two by threes. And then I had some of this uh, Eastern Larch, which is, uh, some people call it Tamarack. It's a conifer, it's a pine tree. Um, it's the only pine tree that loses its needles in the winter. So if you ever walking through the woods or you driving down the road and you see a pine tree in the winter that doesn't have any needles on it, that's an Eastern Larch, or like I said, a Tamarack. But this is a pretty strong wood. It's uh, in the Douglas fir family, so it's really strong wood. Um, it's got a lot of knots in it, but it's still real strong. So I use that to uh, kind of brace up these two by threes. Plus I, I did it like a purling effect. So actually the cross section of this wall, including the purling is three and a quarter. So, you know, that's, that's a quarter inch less than a two by four wall. Two by four wall would be three and a half. Hunter, what are you doing buddy? Come here, come here. What are you doing bud? Hey, you nerd. I'm just gonna walk away and I say hi to dad. Okay, it. <laughs> All right, anyway, guys. So, there we are. I did it on 16 inch centers. And oh yeah, back to the purlins, guys. Um, same as the roof. Put a purlin in here. You're stopping all the thermal bridging everywhere across here. Instead of my plywood or my um, sheeting and stuff, my would be Luan, if I put it right here. I'd have a thermal bridge on every stud. Now I only got the thermal bridges right here where they meet. Bing, 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 down through there. So a ton less thermal bridging. So you got the same cross section of wall pretty much within a quarter inch. Yeah, this wall will way outperform a straight two by four wall. By far will outperform it because of the lack of thermal bridging. Because we're gonna spray foam this guys just like this. If you remember, if you haven't watched the video, there's my purlin on there. So no thermal bridging all through here. No thermal bridging just here. So, and guys, I didn't put a bottom or top plate on it. So when I stand these walls up, there can be no plate here to uh, block, you know, to have a thermal bridge between the inside and the outside. So once he spray foams this, it's actually going to spray foam this right to the floor. It's going to lock it right in. And there is one top plate on the top of this roof system. So I did not put a top plate on these walls. I'll use some uh, metal brackets to tie it all together. And then when Kyle um, and Logan come in to spray this, they will spray this wall right into that two by four. So that will tie it right together between my strapping and that actually saves weight because I don't have a top and bottom plate on this, on these walls. So that's going to save quite a bit of weight. Um, it's going to save money because lumber's ridiculous right now. A two by four is like pushing seven bucks, which is insane. I got a deal on these two by threes from a friend of mine, uh, New Haven Lumber. So he gave me a good price on these two by threes. Stuff he's had older stock because, like I said, prices are crazy. And these walls are six foot, guys. So I'm only like five, nine and a half. So I want this trailer to be as low as I can. So I made it six foot. So I'm going to gain an inch and a half of headroom with that top plate. So it's going to be six foot, one and a half. So that'll be good enough to get in there. And then when you figure this, you know, I got 19 inches from here to here. So. Uh, the middle is going to be super high but the edges will be you know still above my head so that's where i'm at um i gotta stand these walls up and i built these walls too six foot i can get it out my shop without screwing around too much with taking the wheels off and stuff i can drive right out the shop with the walls up i can't put the ceiling on so i could stand my walls up and maybe get it spray foamed maybe wait to put the roof on and then spray foam it so it ties it all together but um, at least I can get my walls up inside the shop and uh, then pull everything out probably and put the roof on it. So that's what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, one more thing, guys. I actually nailed this uh, wall to the trailer because my trailer is perfectly square. So I just nailed these with little finishing nails. I nailed the first wall down 
you know, my second wall. So as I was putting these purlins on, everything's nice and square. So I didn't even have to worry about pulling diagonals and stuff because I went right off the trailer because the trailer is perfectly square. So I just went along and nailed, you know, every other one. Every 32 inches, I just threw a couple nails in there. Little tip for you, made it easier. This thing's rock solid, it's not gonna move while I was putting those. Cause now that I got all those purlins on there and I countersunk these screws a little bit, as you can see with that bit that I got. So nothing's gonna hit there. And uh, this thing's pretty rigid now with this Eastern Larch. This is a three quarter inch by four inch. I ripped it down, I planed these boards down probably i probably got some footage on planing it down and i ripped it in on the table saw so and that started as rough cut stuff guys Hey guys here's the walls two long walls up that's where the door is gonna be it's gonna be a double door like a French door on the side guys right there because I want to be able to load my four-wheeler in there I'm gonna put my four-wheeler right in the side of it and there's my walls with the pernons on them Eastern Larch purlins, not too shabby. Those purlins are two foot on center, guys. And that's pretty much it for tonight. I'm uh, gonna call it a day. Come out pretty good. That one wall is a little hairy. This one, getting it up by myself, but we got her.